This is the Techware Quad. To me, it looks more like a Borg cube out of Star Trek. So you better keep watching this because resistance is futile. The Techware Quad is a mini tower gaming cube with a stylish perforated design and large front 200mm fan for efficient cooling. Its compact size is perfect for limited spaces and it features dual side tempered glass panels for showcasing internal components. The case supports MATX and ITX motherboards and has room for multiple hard drives and SSDs. It includes two USB 3.0 ports, HD audio and mic track and allows for various fans and radiator setups, making it a versatile and durable choice for gamers and PC enthusiasts. RGB and non-RGB versions are available as well, as well as black and white variations. The packaging is straightforward, it's a brown box with black writing. There is no product images on the box at all. There is a QR code on one of the flaps though when you open so you can easily get to a manual. Inside the box you'll find the case wrapped in plastic, protected by polystyrene. Accessories include screws, standoffs and cable ties. No manual but there is a handy QR code on the box for digital instructions. The top of the case has a unique perforated surface for airflow. This is removable and underneath you will find a magnetic dust filter. Underneath that you can easily remove the tray for radiators and fans to attach them with ease. There is an IO panel on the front corner which includes a power button, reset button, two audio jacks, one for headphones, one for a microphone, and two USB sockets, which are USB 3.0. There are two tinted tempered glass sides on this case, which are easily removable via two thumb screws at the back. There is also a small logo for Techware at the top corner of the glass, which to be honest with you is hard to see. The front panel is perforated like the top of the case with that interesting pattern. It's non-removable though because it wraps around the front and bottom of the case. A gap behind the panel allows side airflow and there is a removable magnetic filter over the 200mm fan. Just bear in mind the filter can be a little bit tricky to remove. The case features a dual chamber design. The lower compartment houses the power supply complete with a few small ventilation holes next to it. The upper section is for the motherboard and it's equipped with four expansion slot covers for things like graphics cards. This configuration supports only micro ATX and ITX motherboards. The bottom of the case is equipped with four large rounded feet featuring anti-slip materials for stability. Additionally, there's a magnetic dust filter covering the power supply intake area, aiding in keeping the interior nice and clean. Inside the case it supports up to four 2.5 inch SSDs and up to four 3.5 inch hard drives, allowing a total of eight drives inside the machine on top of any NVMe drives you decide to install. The case can support up to a 315mm long graphics card, a 200mm power supply and a CPU cooler of up to 170mm in height. The top of the case can fit two 120mm fans or a 120mm radiator, though it can be a bit of a tight fit depending on the tubing and the cooler you're actually using. A custom water cooling setup may offer better results than an all-in-one solution. There is a 120mm fan on the back as well and the front houses that giant 200mm fan with no option for replacing to smaller fans. SSDs can be vertically mounted by screwing them in from the bottom of the case. Hard drive setup is easy, there is an actual hard drive cage which you can attach the hard drives to in the bottom of the case. Due to the size of the case, it's obviously going to be more compact inside compared to a standard case. Notably, with the motherboard mounted horizontally and the glass sides, any untidy cabling is visible in that bottom compartment or top compartment depending on how messy you leave it. There are two rubberized sections for routing cables as well as some that are not rubberized between the two compartments. While the case includes ARGB lighting it is minimal which is basically just a sole RGB element 
what lights up at the top of the front panel opening. It does enhance the appearance though and does actually make that front perforated panel stand out and look sort of 3D. The fans inside the case do not have any RGB elements so if you want more RGB inside the case you're going to have to add them yourself whether it's RAM, a CPU cooler or even replacing the fans. We equipped the case with an Intel i5-12400F processor, a GeForce 4070 graphics card, which just fit, as well as 32GB of RAM and a 1TB NVMe drive. The build process was, as predicted, quite tight because of the compact case. The main issue what we came across was the cable management in the bottom compartment and easily becomes cluttered. A partition in this area would have been beneficial for hiding any cables. Now down to the airflow. Airflow varies based on fan selection, layout and speed settings, making it a challenge for standardised testings. Our smoke test indicates the airflow is good for the case size, the 200mm fan effectively pulls in air, the lower compartment experiences less airflow but it's sufficient unless overloaded with hard drives. With larger or more powerful components, the case may struggle with heat management due to its limited size. Noise levels are reasonable with the case remaining quiet at fan speeds below 50%. Even at full speed, noise is not that intrusive, thanks in parts to the large, slower moving fan on the front. In summary, this case offers a sleek design with its tinted glass panels and unique perforation patterns. The biggest question I've got about this case is who is it aimed for because the specifications wise so with all the hard drives it's aimed more as a storage box so like a server, NAS or something along that lines but with the looks it's aimed more at gaming but you can't go too high because of the airflow issues and the restricted space so it's questionable who it's aimed at don't get me wrong it's a good case if you can find an actual use for it but what are you going to use it for we would say it's suitable for systems up to something like an i5 intel processor and a geforce 4060 graphics card and then it's got that support for four two and a half inch ssds as well as potentially four hard drives in there as well Airflow is efficient for its size, though the bottom chamber does receive a bit less. We found noise levels are low at reduced fan speeds. Overall, it's a solid choice for mid-range builds, balancing aesthetics, functionality and that compact design, with some considerations for space and cable organisation. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.